Regional cooperation is uh, people, NGOs or even government institutions coming together and uh, working on different initiatives. But since we're culture people, I think culture is the one thing that can make the real change here. I think that everyone has a not only that activist stance, but also responsibility, social responsibility and fight for social justice. I think that it is treba da usvoje to od svojih mentora, pošto oni dolaze ovde sa svojim mentorima, da budu na sličan način otvoreni, zainteresovani za drugog i spremni da čak i nešto što im se možda baš ne dopadne ili je različito jer na to nisu navikli, da makar budu dovoljno tolerantni da saslušaju, da ne odbace, a onda da budu spremni da prenesu na svoje kolege. Pojenta današnje radionice sa mentima bila je da dobiju inspiraciju, okvire i neku vrstu ohrabrenja da krenu da osmišljavaju svoje projekte. U tome je najvažnije za početak znati šta je to što vas interesuje, šta su neki resursi koje već imate, kao i šta su resursi koji vam tek trebaju i na koji način možete da ih steknete. Kako u ovom projektu oni imaju podršku jedni drugih i kako će zapravo raditi u timu, tako je i tema timskog rada bila važna i pokušali smo da prođemo kroz neke osnove kvalitetnog timskog rada. Pored toga, pokušali smo da napravimo jedan kratak osvrt na to kako se inače koncipiraju projekti. Ovo su pilot projekti, u tom smislu ne moramo biti toliko formalni i toliko voditi računa o nekakvim koracima koje inače moramo da radimo kada pišemo projekti, kada prikupimo sredstva za naše projekte, ali kako se nadamo da će ovo zapravo biti samo početak inicijative i da će oni kasnije upravo ono što sada pokrenu razvijeti samostalno, tako je bilo važno zapravo i da se osvrnemo na proces pisanja projekta, to osmišljavanje projekta i kasnije projektni manager. It is exchange of the ideas uh, from different people from the region because uh, we have the same uh, issues, problems, uh, usually uh, very similar goals, so we have to communicate more and to go toward the same goals. All the young people involved in this project will have um, uh, like a career orientation also because they are uh, they have to be with mentors here who somehow will direct them so any of them might think of uh, what to become next I mean when they go home they might be might more oriented to uh, what they will do next with, with their career new friendships are something that is really important uh, but also they will uh, meet each other, they will discuss about different ideas and as Arli mentioned, like uh, they will maybe find their career orientation so they will maybe learn uh, some different skill and uh, maybe they will recognize something that is important for the region and maybe they will work on some other and bigger project that will connect us even more throughout the region. So maybe we are now meeting the new regional youth leaders, so that is also something that is significant. I've always been close to the students and uh, the specific of, of my, my work there during the teaching is that we have to be very close with them, we have to know how to put a team together, how to apply the projects and how to have this project to have a long-lasting life. It's a mutual process, it's uh, I think uh, a way of thinking first of all and opening up some uh, new perspectives and uh, maybe breaking some boundaries and also he actually helping them in this sort of soul-searching uh, method uh, to uh, find out what they are good at, how they can achieve things, uh, what uh, can be the assets, what are the downfalls. So I, I think it is a bo both uh, processes actually happen with the mentor and with the with the mentee, and the the most beneficial thing is that you actually grow uh, and uh, improve together. It's absolutely some kind of growth, mutual and immediately evolving, because in this, our close communities we constantly need to search some kind of mutual understanding and part thinking out of the box and I especially like that I'm thinking that all idea is so gentle because everything in our scenes independent or little less independent is so much came from some kind of aggressive meaning. 
So this kind of opportunities is open new doors and spaces and places. And I especially like it, uh, the thing that the people here are spaces, basically. What I'm more keen in uh, when, while working with the young, youngsters and students is like uh, to operate with what is called soft skills, like positivity, which is one of the main tools, uh, integrity, uh, positivity, as I said, integrity, and also uh, the way how, the, and communication. So there are three pillars they have to operate with each other. So if we are going to base our operation uh, between the youngsters uh, based on these three pillars, uh, that can help them to have a last longer life and also to, from a project, they can create the basics and continue with another one because, okay, we can have a project here, but then have to be the basis so they can continue even without us. So, as a mentor, I have just the right to give them some hinges how they can continue and also to, time to time, to to make sure that they are on the same road. But uh, the, main, the main goal is that they can continue in the future without, uh, and with, without our assistance, and so they can be somehow mentors of themselves. We need to share a common values, and uh, we need to uh, make uh, this region a better place for living and to show uh, to Europe and uh, other people uh, real uh, values from Balkan. I wanted to join this project because I think it's a great opportunity to connect with people of region and to meet each other and to get to know the real um, way of thinking and living in the other countries because I think that we otherwise don't have that chance in our countries. This project is uh, important for all of us, not just for one uh, experience but to share each other culture and uh, love and peace that it's important for all to love each other to respect each other and uh, finally to have uh, uh, same language in uh, all things or dreams what uh, we are going to do Center for Cultural Decontamination is an institution of independent culture but also uh, very active in the field of human rights uh, since 1995, when it emerged from the anti-war movement in Serbia, also uh, critical public uh, center develops programs that nobody else can, nobody else knows how to, or programs that could never happen anywhere else. It's a very specific, uh, let's say, plan and strategy, but in 25 years of this very unpredictable activity and constant rejuvenating, it's, it's still, I think, one of the most relevant institutions in the region. Nama je zadatak da dođemo do građanina, do pojedinca koji možda u normalnim okolnostima samo sluša glavni mediji sobstvene zemlje koji je prilično dirigovan, u kome su svi drugi na Balkanu prikazani kao vekovni neprijatelji, ne čak samo neprijatelji, nego vekovni neprijatelji i u tom smislu ovakvi projekti su dragoceni, jer ne samo što dovode ljude zajedno, već daju i mogućnost razgovora koji može i da otkrije neki stereotip, neku predrasudu, pa čak i neku pogrešnu činjenicu koja se kod nas prihvata kao nesumnjiva činjenica, to jest u svakoj od pojedinih zemalja, kao nesumnjiva činjenica, a koja je suštinski veoma upitna. Jer ako se projekat završi sa ovim brojem učesnika, onda ništa nismo uredili. Ali ako svaki učesnik u svom krugu prijatelja, među svojim prijateljicama i prijateljima, prenese iskustva, govori o tome, uključi ih, počne da deluje na isti način, da pruži ono što je on dobio od nekog drugog, e to mi se čini da je onda stvaranje i razvijanje jedne prave balkanske mreže.